got police circling the neighborhood. Yeah, I don't know if uh, it's just our neighborhood or that's just a sign, man. America is going to hell in the handbasket, but shit's been going down a lot lately. So, got some hauls to share with you guys. Um, a little bit of a... <laughs> It's a little bit of a small haul in the sense that it's only uh, things from two places, but one of the hauls is a that's a large-ish haul. Um, so I looked at this site that uh, rockabilia.com that I don't think I'd ordered from honestly in many many years. I used to get their. Uh, their actual catalogs, paper catalogs, uh, many years ago. Um, I'm sure when I was younger, uh, I'd gotten some of my rock tees from there. But for whatever reason, I hadn't thought about going back to Rockabilia in a long time. And, and you know, if you know me, you know I'm, a, I'm, I'm all about those graphic tees. I am a graphic tee junkie. Uh, <laughs> I was joking, uh, with a couple of friends the other day, showing, showing them some hauls, um, and I was, I was, I did the tease, uh, over or greater than toys, I used, you know, the greater than symbol, greater than toys, and then, and in the next message I put SMU, SMUTs. Um, yeah, I get so many T's, sometimes more than toys, that you'd think that it's definitely T's over toys. Anyway, um, so I was cruising the site, and, oh man, I, I, I was just looking, cause you know, on a lot of, on a lot of other places I get my T's from, you know, there's a lot of more popular, um, whether it's bands, music stuff, or, uh, you know other pop culture things you know things that are more current or or popular or trendy even if it's like retro but it's trendy you know not hard to get but then i thought of looking uh for stuff of bands that it's just a little more obscure or older and stuff that like i hadn't really seen tease of so anyway long story short i uh i did a bunch of searching of music and bands like spanning all eras of of stuff that i've been into over the years and i got lucky with some and some not so much so anyway uh first up cradle of filth one of one of my all-time favorite um metal bands uh one of the few i don't know if you would i don't know i mean it's easy to say like they're death metal uh black metal um but it's like it, man i feel like cradle felt is kind of like a sound and a genre all their own uh anyway so picked up this little and this is the one thing i got in the in the in the rockabilia hall that uh is not a t but um one of the things i'm going after also is like uh stickers of bands and stuff that is going to go up on my wall of like music and stuff like that alongside kind of filling filling the spaces that the the posters um leave and stuff so anyway there's that midian um one of my all-time favorite cradle of fell songs is a uh, her ghost in the fog and it's from this album overall not not one of my favorite albums of theirs but that song alone is one of my my favorites so anyway uh moving on with these teas um cradle of filth now here's the funny thing though <laughs> so that is danny phil um the lead singer but this wasn't the shirt i ordered which is funny i'm starting this haul with a with a with a little bit of a blunder on their part um yeah i don't know if the shirt i ordered was no longer in stock and they just substituted it with something that looked similar uh the one that i actually ordered is the album cover of uh the, the image from uh dusk and her embrace 
this is not it. This is yeah. So I don't know. I'll, I'll contact customer service on that one. Although it is still a cool shirt, and and Cradle of Filth shirts, you know, are not just you know common. So it's almost like I might as well just keep it. But I'll still contact uh, customer service see if they if that one is in fact still in stock. I'd, I'd still like to get that one. So all right, moving on. Um, and the thing I find kind of funny about this also is it's it's quite a mix of stuff that it's like, man, I wonder if the person packing it was like, wow, what is what is going on here? So anyway, sleigh bells. Um, I think I've said it before. Uh, I, I'm not the biggest fan of graphic tees that don't have like an image, you know, if it's just a statement or something I'm like, cause no one's going to, you know, you need, you, you, when, when, you know, for me, it's about expressing my fandom, but at the same time, I want it to be something like an image that is like, not, not recognizable, but something, you know, a picture <laughs> like they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. And, you know, if it's just words, uh, you know, unless you know, you know, how many people are going to see this and, and know what sleigh bells is other than, you know, they're going to think Christmas. And, oh, what's that? So anyway, uh, but sleigh bells uh, is one of those bands that it's hard to come by. So I was like, yeah, I'll get it just because I'm a fan. And it's like, I'm, 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 I'm a really big fan, actually. I love, I love their music. And you guys are probably like sleigh bells. Never heard of them. Right? Exactly. All right. And like I was saying, a, a mix of stuff. And this is actually taking it back. So really cool. I've, I found, um... Sometimes I'll search on eBay for, for tees of things that are a little more obscure or harder to come by or stuff like that. Uh, and I found uh, tees of this image, but they weren't officially licensed. And you know me, I'm all about that officially licensed. Uh, Onyx. This, go, this takes me back to like, what, like 93, 92, 93? Um... Here's a here's a little little um how do you say a little a, a little little known fact. I shaved my head because of Onyx. <laughs> I was I was into Onyx at the time, and I was so into Onyx. I was like, yeah, oh, that whole ball head thing. Um, down with it. So I shaved my head. We, it was it was kind of like a blessing in disguise, like. Up until that point, what was I, like, 14, 15, I think 15? Up until that point, like, there was really no hairstyle that I felt really suited me. Until that. I've been shaving my head ever since. 15 years old, I'm now 43. So do the math, I've been shaving my head for a long time. And here's the thing, I hate shaving my head, it's, it's a chore. But, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, Onyx, man. Uh, and then, again, with the, like, what a mix of stuff. Billie Eilish. I am a, a big Billie Eilish fan, and that's the thing about me. Um, music, man, eh, just, I, I'm into, I'm into all kinds of music. I'm like, if you love music, how can you not be into all kinds of music? So anyway, really cool, uh, Billie Eilish tea right there. Yeah, the D! Uh, so yeah, I searched Tenacious D. I was hoping there'd be, there'd be more, uh, there'd be a little more, um, variety with Tenacious D, but I love Rise of the Phoenix, so I had to get it. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious right there. All right, Transplants, another one of those bands that's actually, like, one of my favorites, um, that is just not, never, they never reached the commercial, real commercial success. They did, there was, their first album, actually a few songs got used a lot for like everything from like commercials and, and TV shows, but after that they just, uh, didn't really get a commercial success, but it's not the kind of thing that I care about, like, yeah. So anyway, um, Travis Barker, drummer from Blink-182, is actually the, the drummer 
for uh, the transplants. Um, so if you're a fan, if you're a fan of Travis Barker's drumming, well, you probably know about the transplants, but <laughs> if you're a fan, um, but also, and then the, um, Tim from Rancid sings on the transplants. And then there's, um, oh, I forget the, 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 the dude's name, the rapper dude, um, his name escapes me right now. He's, he, he raps. So it's, it's a little bit of rap rock punk um all rolled into one really really cool uh and then last but not least again are also taking it way back this is a band that i hadn't thought about in a long time i was really into gore um when i was young when i was a kid um and i'd recently like just recently before i i was searching on rockabilia uh was thinking about them and i was like listen to listen to their albums on spotify again and so i'm glad i thought of them before i i was looking on, on rockabilia and was able to grab this shirt really really cool can't wait to wear this one um the other thing about uh these tees that i just ordered from rockabilia um a lot of them when i searched it was not only the last one it would say one one remaining or one you know something basically saying it was the last one in stock but it was only available in my size like the only one still available was a small in my size i mean not not in my the only one available was my size and it was the last one in stock so i was like man glad i i jumped on these when i did again i'm gonna have to um contact customer service about that cradle of filth one though um but yeah oh man that is such an awesome image see this is this is what i'm all about man that that imagery of like whoever the artist or whatever the thing is of that's like see even if somebody doesn't know who the fuck guar is this image is gonna scream at them you know you're either they're gonna be someone who thinks that's cool like fuck who the fuck is that? That's fucking awesome. Or they're gonna be like, what? They're gonna be repulsed by it. But that is an equally awesome response <laughs> for me anyway. So yeah, uh, there's those. And then some Mezco 112 goodness. Now, here's the thing. Uh, if you've been following, you might, uh, you might recall um, not long ago. Uh, I started on a new Mezco 112 kick and I went pretty hard like after having somewhat collected them before uh, I don't know starting a couple of years or so ago um, I, I say collected them loosely because a lot of them I actually got, including my first one, which I think was the Batman Beyond uh, exclusive. I think I'd originally got them to flip because so I was, ooh, these things are getting hot, you know. I'm gonna I'm, uh, I'm get on these and, and flip them. Um, and I think at most I had gotten about five of them, and I ended up selling them all um shortly after i gotten them the only one that i actually like kept for a good amount of time was the the punisher special ops exclusive amazing amazing figure really sold me on mezco 112 collective but then most of the ones that i got and i i really had gotten a flip and after a while i was like i decided yeah these things are just I can't collect these. They're just too expensive as as impressive and amazing as some of them are. Um, so I ended up selling all of them, including letting go the last of them, which was that, that Punisher. And so I swore, like, I swore off collecting Mezco 112. <sighs> Fast forward to um, that trade with the bro, co-worker <laughs> Matt from Rogue Toys. Uh, got that clown prince of crime version of the Joker. Oh, it just it pulled me right back in, and like I said, I went hard. And so this is now 
my first one in, in, in a while, in a few months, but this Catwoman right here marks my, I think, seventh one. So I'm now in a lot less time, in only a span of a few months, as opposed to a couple of years, I now have surpassed the amount I had in my original collection. Um... Now, I hadn't really, I do still have like three more on pre-order, um, but I, I wasn't really sure which ones I was going to get next. Uh, I, I was sure that I would get at least one or two even before any of those three pre-order ship, but I wasn't sure which ones. There were, I wasn't in a hurry uh, right now, anytime soon, uh, to, to, to grab any. Um, but I saw this on eBay. A seller had it for like less than 50 bucks, like 47 something. Now here's the thing, if you're familiar with these, you know that there are some Chinese knockoffs. So I was skeptical. And it's it's hard to find a legit Mezco 112 collective, brand new, never opened, never used, for that price. That's just kind of insane. But I was like, huh, the seller seems legit. So I took a chance. And as far as I can tell, oh, and good hefty weight to it. This is, this is legit. So like less than 50 bucks for this Catwoman. Now I will say this though. She is one that I wasn't like totally needing in my collection. Like I, I was always on the fence. Like I kind of want her, but do I need her? The only reason being, like I love Catwoman. Like the character would be a must-have for my collection, for my Mezco 112, you know, universe. Which I think the majority, yeah, I think right now, all of mine except for one. So six out of seven including her, are DC. Only one Marvel right now, which is uh, the Logan. But anyway, must have character for me, but like, I wasn't totally impressed with the actual execution of this figure. Now, one thing I will say, even going by the photos on the back, and what, this is something I've realized in, in collecting them again and more. Is a lot of the times the promo pictures from Mezco, the studio pictures, which should really sell you on a figure, don't do them justice. I've noticed that a lot of times I'll actually get them in hand or I'll see a review, a better review uh, online or something. Much better pictures really shows the figure off in better detail, and they actually look better than than Mezco's pictures. And, and the same goes for her. Now you're not going to see her too well, um, but my point being, like on her on her suit, which again, because she's here covered in plastic, there's there's more details on her suit. It's not as plain, simple and plain a cat suit. Um, so in some ways the details on the actual figure look better than, than they make it look. So, yeah. Um, as far as I can tell, it is legit. It's not a cheap Chinese knockoff. Um, which even if it was, it's like it shouldn't be that much. Like, she should be more like 30. Um, so, man, got a steal on this, uh, on this Catwoman figure. Pretty happy with that to, to add a, a seventh uh Mezco 112 collective figure I'm gonna look uh enjoy checking her out adding her to the collection and and messing with those more so anyway sorry <laughs> I just realized man this is this is a long video if you've stuck through this this long man I appreciate you I really appreciate you Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned. Always more to come. Thanks so much for watching.